Hello friends. In this session, we will use Albert V2 FPGA development board. In this experiment, we will write program for full adder by using Verilog and we will simulate it by using Xilinx. Same program we will download into the FPGA board and we will verify our result. So let's get started. So here I am going to create a folder. The name of the folder is Xilinx Tutorial and I will be saving everything in this folder. Uh, now open any browser and search Numoto Lab Albert V2. So there are number of links I will be using. I will be opening one of the links so that I can see the specification. There is a, this is a board of Albert V2. The Spartan XC3S50A FPGA is used, which is belongs to Spartan. TQG144 package is used. It has 16 MB of SPI flash memory. Uh, USB 2.0 interface is uh, provided for the programming. Uh, GTAC as well as USB configuration is also available. VGA output is also available. So number of things are available and you can go through that so that you can see number of things. Uh, file downloading our program, we want number of things. So go to the download section and download configuration tools and save it in our folder which we have created. So save it here. One more thing which we want is a user constraint file that is a UCF file. So this is a these are the contents for UCF file. So copy all these contents and store this in notepad file. So save it here and save this file. Uh, I will give a name. Select first folder so that it will be easily available for me. So I will say Albert.ucf is the name of my file. So first of all go to the start and search where is Xilinx. Uh, so in the Xilinx again there are number of options. So in Xilinx design tools I will select 64 bit project navigator. So here if there is any existing project close it and start with a new project so go to the file select new project and select a path of our folder in our case the folder is in e drive the name of the folder is a Xilinx tutorial let's say ok and give name to this folder again let's say full adder is a name of my new folder the specification I have to select here for new project that is evaluation development board none product category as uh, all family Spartan 3A and Spartan 3AN device XC3S50A then package TQ144 speed minus 4 or minus 5 then synthesis tool XST VADL Verilog simulator ISIM VADL Verilog then preferred language Verilog uh, then VADL you can select 93 or 200x and go to the next and then finish uh, now here select uh, right click on XC3S50A right click here select new source and select very log module now give name as a full adder full underscore adder go to the next here I have to specify inputs A B and C are my inputs whereas sum and carry are my outputs so I have to define the direction as well so go to the next and then click on finish once it is done I have to write my program here so as I know the boolean expression for sum so I will write sum is equal to a XOR B XOR C whereas for carry boolean equation is 
ए एंड बी और बी एंड सी और ए एंड सी सो दिस इज माई दिज आर माई टू बिलियन एक्सप्रेशन आई हैव रिटर्न सो सेव नाउ देर इज अ स्मॉल एरर इन लाइन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स आई फर गॉट टू मैंशन अ साइन सो दैट बोथ द इक्वेशन विल बी एक्जीक्यूटेड कॉन्करेंटली एंड नाउ चेक इज देर इन सिंटैक्स एरर सो गो टू दिंथेसाइज एक्सेस टी क्लिक ऑन चेक सिंटैक्स देर इज नो एनी एरर सो गो टू दी व्यू आर टील स्केमेटिक से ओके हेयर यू कैन सी इट्स आर टील स्केमेटिक देर आर थ्री इनपुट्स एंड टू आउटपुट्स सो व्यू टेक्नोलॉजी स्केमेटिक से ओके एंड हेयर यू विल गेट द हार्डवेयर विच इट हैज क्रिएटेड इट हैज सिलेक्टेड टू एल्यूटीज सो यू कैन वेरीफाई यूअर टू टेबल के मैफ एंड इक्वेशन एंड अगेन सेम थिंग इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर अनदर एल्यूटी इक्वेशन ट्रूथ टेबल एंड के मैप से ओके एंड नाउ यू कैन सी द सिंथेसाइज रिपोर्ट सो हाउ मेनी स्लाइसेस इट हैज सिलेक्टेड हाउ मेनी एल्यूटीज इट हैज सिलेक्टेड एंड सो ऑन सो नाउ वी वील गो टू दी वी विल राइट टेस्ट बेंच हियर to verify our output so click on new source and select verilog text mixture so i will say full adder tw that means test bench select next click on finish here i have to specify my different input combination so i will write always hash 5 a is equal to invert of a that means every after 5 nanosecond value of a will be inverted same thing i will apply for input b as well so that i can cover all the possible combinations but i will change time here so here initially values of a b c are zero and every after certain duration i am changing value of a b and c now save it and click on simulation and check first is there any syntax error so first of all you have to click on test bench and then we have to check behavioral check syntax there is no any error so now double click on simulate behavioral model now click on zoom to full view so that you can cover all the combinations again i will have to zoom it so that i can closely observe what are my input combinations initially all values of a b c are zero and afterward value of a b c will get changed every after 5 nanosecond and depending upon that you will be getting certain output here i will show the the output where all three inputs are one and that's why sum and carry both are one so in this way we have checked our hardware so now i will close this and i will show you implementation design so in implementation in design first of all i have to click on translate then map then place and route 
now here i can view the routing design this is the internal structure of fpga and we can closely observe uh, where is our circuit uh, now here we are watching the internal part of fpga here we can have the c input access at pin p75 uh, then at p78 there is a carry then at p76 there is a b input at p72 there is a a input and at p70 there is a sum so according to our board we have to change these pin numbers so we will do it in the next part so right now i will close this section similar way generate programming file as well and now we will move on to the how to create ucf file now first check a uh, ucf file a uh, ucf file is here a uh, ucf file describe which pin of fpga is connected which peripheral uh, like p129 pin of fpga is connected to the clock uh, similar way p46 pin of fpga is connected to one of the leds p 47 pin of fpga is connected to the next led and so on similar way p70 pin of fpga is connected to the one of the switches and so on here in our case we are going to observe our output with the help of two leds and we are going to provide input with the help of three switches so this thing we have to describe in our file so go to the our project and right click on here either we can click on add sources or we can create the ucf file freshly uh, let's say i will create a new source and here i have to mention implementation constant file uh, give name as a full adder underscore ucf so that i can easily identify which is the ucf file so click on next and say finish once it is a done i have to copy the files of i have to copy the lines of leds and lines of switches i want to have three input and two output so i have copied two lines from the led and three lines from the switches so here i will specify output my outputs are sum and carry and my inputs are a b and c so i will save this and i will click on full adder and once again i will rerun the implementation design so that it will generate the programming file once again now click on generate programming file and uh, now here programming file is generated i can observe it in our folder if you observe closely then you will come to know that there is a bit file which is generated we have to download this file in our fpga board to download this file into the fpga board i have to connect my fpga board to the computer system this is my board i'm going to give power to this board with the help of this connector and that's why i have to keep proper position of this jumper so 
to give power to this board with the help of laptop with this cable I have to short pin 1 and 2 so I have to put jumper in between that so I will put jumper like this and then I will insert my cable into the board now, now there is a board right now I have connected a board to my computer system uh, once I connect the board so I have to first check device manager uh, in the device manager you will find that the, when I am connecting a board it will select particular com port uh, like suppose if I remove the board right now I have removed the board so automatically it will replace its window once I connect the board right now I have connected the board so once I connect the board the window will get replaced automatically and it will show the uh, which comp is a selected for a particular board so in my case it is a comp trail board so now i will open albert v2 config and i will select proper comp port here in my case it is a comp 12 now select open file and enter in our folder which is a silent tutorial and in that we will find a bit file which is here select open and click on program so that our program will be downloaded into our development board now program is downloaded now i have to verify the output so let's come to the board according to our ucf file we have mentioned that p46 and p47 pin are used for observing the output access of these two pins are here onto the LED whereas we have also mentioned P68, P69 and P70 pins for the input access of these three pins are through these switches now suppose right now now all three inputs are 0 0 0 so output is a sum is equal to 0 carry is equal to 0 now one of the pins I will make 1 so that sum output will be 1 and carry output will be 0 I will make one more pin as a one so that's why carry pin carry output become one and some output become zero now I will make all three inputs as a one 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 so some as well as carry both the outputs will be high so in this way we have downloaded our code into the Albert v2 board and we have verified our output thank you uh, thank you for watching the video